George's Pond is a beloved feature of Signal Hill in St. John's, and a popular swimming spot for townies. But if you've been there over the past few weeks, you may have noticed an unpleasant smell. Kind of like broccoli, or asparagus, or cabbage past their prime. Whatever it smells like, it's weird, and swimmers are taking their concerns to social media. Most of them have the same two questions. What's causing that nasty smell? And is the pond safe to swim in? There is a lot of things that can cause taste and odor or smell issues in freshwater, um, but algae could be one of the culprits. And most algae create compounds that cause odor issues. It just depends on the concentrations or the densities that they get to in the pond and if conditions are ripe for them to get to those levels. And then there's also just decomposition that can cause smells in ponds. But to get an answer about what is, or at least is not, causing the smell, Hargan needs samples. We have nets that we just toss out and we use to collect the phytoplankton and, or the algae and the zooplankton. Um, those are like the little water fleas that are swimming around in the pond. And we have a meter that is on a long cable that we can put down and look at how the oxygen changes going from the surface of the pond to deeper. Then it's time to bring the samples back to the lab. I mean, some people might be creeped out by what they see, but these guys are actually really great. They graze down a lot of the algae in ponds so that we don't you know, have too much algae. Um, they're good fish food. So for those sticklebacks in George's Pond, they're good fish food. Um, yeah, they're, they're a good sign of a healthy ecosystem. And they aren't responsible for that smell. Next, it's time to look at the algae. So chrysophytes are kind of the common cul culprits for causing that smell, for causing smell on lakes. Um, this one, Euroglina, does have publications for smell. So most of them are more of a fishy smell or cause more of a fishy smell, which isn't what's been described, I guess, at George George's Pond. So um, they do cause smell, but I don't know if it's the, the culprit here. So I think more likely that this broccoli smell is probably just a bit of decomp and sulfur being released, because often if you have decomposition, you have sulfur, and that's what creates what's more, more often described as a cabbage smell. So it isn't a definitive answer. Hargan says that would require regular monitoring and testing. But with the information we have so far, should townies stop swimming in George's pond? This algae would not be a reason not to swim in the pond. Like, I don't recommend drinking it, but it definitely would not cause any harm to your skin if you were swimming in the pond. So if you do decide to swim in George's Pond, maybe bring a nose plug? Daryl Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.